Okay, so today I'm going to do another album battle. I am putting Ariana Grande Sweetener versus her Thank You Next album. So here's the track list for both albums if you want to like refresh your memory on it and ultimately help you come to a decision on what you want to pick for today. So which one am I going to be choosing today? I definitely have to give it to the Sweetener album. It is my favorite Ariana Grande album. And I just really appreciate what she did with it. It was a more experimental moment for her, you know, working with Pharrell in that moment. And I'm glad that she did it because then she's not getting, you know, kind of put into a box. But this is the kind of music you make. An artist definitely had to experiment. And her career would not be in the same place if she had not released this album. So I just really appreciate it. And I just think that overall it's her best and it has some of my favorite songs. So some of the ones I wanted to mention, of course, Rem, that is my favorite Ariana Grande song all time. And I especially love the BBC version of it. She sounds excellent. I love Get Well Soon. As I talked about, the vocal layering on that song is phenomenal. Pretty sure she maxed out all the tracks on Pro Tools with that one. I love the lyrics. I love the sentiment. People said it's a musical hug. I would agree with that statement. Borderline is very underrated on this album, you know, featuring Miss Ayala. People do a little bit too much, but it's always been one of my favorites on this album for sure. And then I also really enjoyed stuff like No Tears Left to Cry. That was a great lead single for her as well. Every Time is definitely one of her best songs, especially on this album. I just think there's a lot to like about this album. My skips on this album include The Light Is Coming featuring Nicki Minaj. I think that song is horrible. And yeah, it's a skip. And Blazed with Pharrell. And yep. Yeah, so every time I start this album, I start off the intro. I skip those two songs and then I go about my way. I enjoy it every single time. I just appreciate it. It still sounds so fresh because of what she was able to do with it. The vocals, probably her best album vocally. It probably is. You know, it's probably between that and Dangerous Woman in terms of vocals. But I mean, what she was able to do in that standpoint production the writing on it i really appreciate it i think it's still great and in terms of thank you next you know some of my favorite songs in here definitely i'm going to have to give it to imagine i think that that is an excellent opener and i love the vocals on there and the sentiment as well ghostin a very personal song for her and i'm glad that we even got it you know and i can appreciate her vulnerability in that because it's really not that easy and then I also really quite enjoyed NASA. A lot of people hate on it, but it's always been one of my favorite songs on this album. In my head, it's definitely one of the best songs in the song for sure, especially that bridge. Ariana's gonna eat up a bridge when she actually does one. A lot of times she don't be doing the bridge, but I think that she should because a good bridge really takes a song to the next level. Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I Am Bored is definitely underrated. And, you know, got blocked from number one because she blocked herself. Mariah Carey teased whenever she did that with We Belong Together and Shake It Off. But I always really enjoyed that song. I thought it was really fun to listen. And, you know, she's kind of capitalizing off that song again with The Boy Is Mine, which is a great record as well. Some of my skips on here include Makeup. I think that song is trash. It's super boring. And then I also really do not care for Bad Idea. I think it's so ridiculously boring. Live, it's better, but I just think it's very repetitive. doesn't really go anywhere, and it's just really a chop for me. So I don't really care for it too much. Fake Smile has grown to me, but it used to be one that I didn't really care for too much, I will say. And overall, the Thank You Next album definitely had to grow on me. It really did, and I appreciate it. I think it's a good album, but I'm putting at least three or four Ariana albums above it. And that's just my opinion. I'm sure a lot of people disagree with me i can appreciate it for its place in her career i think there's some great songs on it for sure but i'm more so revisiting it for songs and i'm not really really listening to it as an album as much as i am a sweetener a positions even the new album and you know that's kind of just my opinions there and so let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments because a lot of people tend to either love sweetener like myself or they love thank you next that's why i decided to put these two against each other because i always see conversations you know in between it some people really love sweetener position some people really love thank you next and dangerous woman so i kind of want to see the divide and what if it's slip for you you know what if you really love sweetener and dangerous woman for example and like thank you next and positions you know i just kind of want to see where your preference lies i want to see where you're going on this both are enjoyable albums ariana doesn't have a bad album but you know that's just my opinion there but i think this will be a really interesting conversation to have so continue it down below in the comments let me know what you're thinking about this